sleeping when it's hot is a no-go for us. So this is how we hack sleeping at night when we're completely free of hookups, dry camping, all on solar and batteries. This was made 100% on solar energy. The Soft Start RV right here for our air conditioning unit. We've got three ACs, but I only have one of these. So actually, we're gonna put this on the bedroom AC right here because that's most likely what we're gonna run at night if it's hot and we can run it during the day and the cold air will come down through part of the RV at least. And what these do, the soft start, will help it to run on less amps so excited to finally get this installed and i know there's several soft starts on the market but if you want to check this one out we'll put a link down below and uh, you can get your hands on one of these gosh and if we like this we're gonna have to get some for the other ac units Yeah, there's a green light on it right there. And it's running. It is running. Just installed the soft start RV on the front AC, our bedroom AC. So I think that's gonna help run on solar a lot better. So it was on a hot night not very long ago and it was actually too hot to sleep which sleep is kind of a big deal so what we did several things i want to mention all of them is first we closed the door so we could basically just focus on cooling off the smaller bedroom and with the ac unit right here instead of leaving these closed we actually open them up so we get the full force of the coolness coming in here and then these which we often have closed during the day we made sure these two vents are open so basically all of the air conditioning from our bedroom ac unit is coming into pretty much just the bedroom sure a little bit probably bleeds into the rest of the rv but it's going to be mostly focused in the bedroom. So what settings do we use on the control? Well, I'll show you. We basically put it on low cool. Not low cool auto, but low cool. That way the fan stays on even when the compressor isn't running. That way you don't get this off and on kind of thing going on, which if you're a light sleeper, that can kind of wake you up. And we actually like having that fan noise going all night it blocks out any noise from outside or most of it and it just keeps the temperature a nice consistency so I'll go ahead and make that setting here it's gonna get loud so cool low right there we like it to be about 68 degrees so we like to sleep with it cool so well, here it comes. It's loud, but not too loud. But then it's just that consistent sound all night long. And I'll go ahead and shut that off. So this was a great test. The batteries were completely full because it was the first night uh, dry camping after leaving full hookups. So 100% charge on the batteries and all night long we were able to run the AC because with these vents open like this and it's right by the thermostat right here basically the compressor would really only run i think a minute or two before shutting down and so it didn't use as much power than if this one air conditioning unit was trying to like cool the entire rv so we stayed nice and cool all night long 
on a night that I think, I don't even know if it dipped below the upper 70s, so it was hot. And I checked the battery level uh, the next morning and it was still at 60%, which was awesome. So it didn't even wear out the batteries entirely. And you can see right here uh, overnight, the flashing soft start going all night long, helping to uh, control the power usage of this particular AC unit. And we'll put a link down below to the soft start that uh, we use. And we just had the same people install it that installed the solar. And if you're handy, you can also install it yourself. It's not that hard to do. So I'm making my mom's famous carrot cake that she made every Easter for the kids when I was growing up. So since we can't do sugar or very little bits of sugar, I'm gonna try to make it sugar free. But while we're recording this today is because we are boondocking. We are doing this off of solar. I'm using the Vitamix high powered and I'm gonna be using the convection oven. Again, high powered and this is a test, this is the first time. So I'll let you know how it goes. Carrots, anyone? And if you have a Vitamix, here's a trick to shredding carrots or pretty much anything really quick. Turn the Vitamix on, low, and just pop it in there. Gotta quickly cover it up. And then you have shredded carrots that easy especially with this recipe you have to have three cups so instead of spending an hour shredding carrots vitamix <laughs> and the carrot cake is in the convection oven and this thing is going to run for about an hour all on the batteries and ta-da look what i did this is a sugar-free carrot cake, my mom's recipe modified, and this was made 100% on solar energy. How cool is that? That is really cool. Yeah. Looks yummy too. And Tom, I know, was wanting to record me looking like this, and I would say I don't normally look like this, but <laughs> I normally look like this. <laughs> Can't wait for the first cut, the first bite. Yeah. Oh, and plated on gourmet Dixie Ultra paper plates. An RV your favorite. Yes. <laughs> Saves on water. <laughs> so what kind of equipment are we using to accomplish this? Well, I've got six Go Power solar panels mounted on the roof here. And that equates to 1140 watts of power and that all feeds into two go power solar controllers for rapid charging of the batteries i have a combo go power ic3000 inverter charger handles both of those and that thing is a beast works awesome and that uh, connects to the batteries which are lion energy safari ut 1300s we've got six of them that is about 630 amp hours of batteries and it's not a huge solar setup by any means we could certainly add more panels on the roof but so far it is working awesome i'll also link to all of the equipment we use and our solar install video down below if you want to check it out thanks so much for watching and cheers to staying cool this summer even if you're out boondocking or dry camping, which we are not right now, but we're getting ready to head back out again. If you're brand new to our channel, hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell. That way you'll get notified when we release a brand new video. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. So long.